Hey guys, there's Softtech here and welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a couple unboxings here of a bunch of parts that I've received from Brill Armory and Evike Airsoft. Now I don't really do unboxings that often. As a matter of fact, I've only done one video on uh, one video unboxing other than this one. So this will make two, but I got all these parts in and I figured it'd be kind of fun to just break them open on camera and show you guys what all I have purchased. All right, so as you can see, I have two boxes in front of us here. I've got the one from evike.com and I have the other one from Brill. We're gonna start with evike and then we'll make our way to Brill. So in addition, I have you know taped off and sharpied all the addresses. So extra little bit of caution there. Simple box here. There we go. Now this one, there's not as many items in here, but they are kind of uh, pricey, especially when you order three sets of them. So anyway, cardboard packaging, cool. Toss it out of here. I ordered a bunch of gate asters for some custom builds I'm doing for a couple people. So there's three gate asters here. They're the basic rear wired ones. You can always upgrade them online so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, being st uh, stuck with the advanced one. So, or being stuck with the basic ones, you can always upgrade them to advanced. And then I have this evike.com weapons cache. I don't really know what that's for. So I will find out though. And then this big old receipt here, who cares? A bunch of Lonex 70 degree hop up buckings because Brill Armory is out. My choice of per uh, my choice retailer of purchase is usually Brill, but uh, you know, when he's out of stock, you gotta go elsewhere. And then I ordered a WEM9 magazine. So, um, I got an M9 uh, KJW M9 gas blowback pistol the other day, so I've been needing an extra magazine. And this one doesn't really seem to want to come out. And one of the things that's always kind of kept me from getting into gas blowbacks is how expensive it is. It's just ridiculous. So this mag was like 30 bucks here. I think it was like 25. So plus shipping, it's basically 30 bucks. Um, so that's expensive, but hey, that's great and all because I need to get into gas blowbacks. So that is box number one, three gate asters, three Lonex 70 degree hop up buckings, and a WE M9 gas mag. All right, and so the next one is from Brill Armory. So let's undo the tape, his custom Brill Armory paint job, or tape job, pretty cool. Alright, had to edit the video because I had to conceal an address here, so sweet. Put our knife away, good old bubble wrap packaging, and then we got a bunch, and I mean a bunch of parts here. So I have three Garter SP120s, uh, no I'm not making three identical builds here, but uh, it's really easy to short stroke SP120s and get the desired FPS, so three of those. So I'll put them back here. And I love the way these smell. They're probably giving me brain cancer, but they smell so good. So, some sector delayer chips because I don't have any anymore. A bunch of SHS gears. So I've got some 13 to ones, some, that's 16 to one. Yeah, I got two 13 to ones and, and one 16 to one. I could not remember what all I bought there. And then I ordered a Prometheus uh, wide use metal chamber with the rotary design. One of the customers wanted that, and so cool, we'll do it. Three ZCI balanced motors, cool stuff. Um, real quick note on the ZCI motors, I do have good luck with ZCI motors. I know some people do not at all, um, but I've got pretty good luck with ZCI motors, so this is what I'm gonna keep using for these kind of low stress builds. A bunch of SHS pistons. Again, same thing as the ZCI motors. Some people have poor luck with them, but I have really good luck with these pistons and low stress builds. A bunch of barrels, like good lord. I don't think I ordered four. Well, I have four ZCI barrels. Uh, I've got a longer one here and a couple shorter ones and then a medium sized one. Again, everybody has different luck with different items. I've got pretty good luck with ZCI 6.02 steel bore barrels. Um, I tend to polish the inside of them though, so that's probably why I have better luck than most people. All right, ZCI full cylinder. Over, over uh, voluming is my thing. And then I have a bunch of retro arms, uh, kind of 
detail parts like a retro arms, CNC still, uh, CNC aluminum trigger, CNC uh, selector switch here. I've got a CNC uh, bolt catch, bolt release, and then I have a CNC um, charging handle extender. So one of the customers really wanted all those details, and so he he was willing to pay, and I was willing to do. So I got some SHS bushings. Again, good luck with them. So I keep using them. SHS air seal nozzles because they're the best. Cheap upgrade to do a lot of good work. And then some SHS shims because I'm about out of shims. Now SHS, I think, make some pretty good shims. Um, I tend to like them. Uh, some people opt for GNP or Prometheus shims, but SHS work well for me, so that's what I'm using. And that is all that I have today. As you can see, a big old collection of parts here. This was, you know, close to 600 or 700, probably $600, I can't remember. Um, let me just kind of quick look. Oh, hey, there's not really a, not really a uh, number, numerical value. So, um, a bunch of parts here. Gonna be doing three builds with these, obviously, because the three gate asters, it's pretty obvious I'm doing three separate builds here. Um, but yeah, three builds, uh, they'll turn out really well, hopefully, and uh, I will make videos on the builds themselves. But I uh, just want to do a real quick unboxing video to show you guys what all I've got going here and what all to expect in the future. All right, guys, there you have it. A simple video unboxing of all these parts that I ordered for a couple customer builds, really three customer builds. A lot of people ask me my opinion for, you know, what parts are generally speaking pretty good, especially if you know how to tech and tune said parts into said gearbox into said build and gun. Um, now this is pretty much the parts that I buy for a lot of builds, especially basic zero stress or low stress kind of builds. I buy a lot of these parts. Now, if you're going something high stress, then you might want to not buy SHS gears. You might want to go with siege tech. You might not want to buy the SHS piston. You might want to go with siege tech or not, not Siege Tech piston, uh, like a Retro Arms or a Lonex Red piston. Uh, but for these builds, these pistons and these gears are totally fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. It definitely helps me out a lot. And also comment down below. Tell me what you think of my part selection. Uh, you might have a different opinion and that's totally fine. But that's going to bring an end to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever the heck I'm doing next. But until then, stay tuned, Tex.